1989 Ford Ranger. We got a problem with the uh, coolant temperature gauge. It's reading low, so some people goes and just say, "Okay, let's just say, change the sensor." You know. Well, actually, you got you got to check if the gauge itself is bad, the wiring is bad, or the sensor. So on this module, you have two sensors. The one right there is the one that goes to the ECM, and the one right here on the right on the driver side is the one that goes to the dashboard. In order to tell the difference you can uh, note that the one that goes to the gauge has the one wire, the uh, ECM uh, sender unit has two wires. And uh, could be three reason that it doesn't work. The gauge itself, the wires, or the sensor so I'm going to show you how to diagnose that. You know that the sensor has a var variable temperature. I mean, vari sorry, excuse me, variable resistance that varies according to what temperature it is. So when the temperature is very high, we have a very low resistance, almost zero. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this wire and we're going to just hook it to uh, the battery negative here the negative battery and that's what's gonna give that sensor a zero resistance because that wire goes through that sensor and then it goes to the engine block which is the negative battery I don't have all the I don't have all the electrical diagram but if you look at it it will looks like a resistance that goes to the dashboard and then the other end of it goes to the negative so what we're going to do we're going to hook this uh, wire with the you know with whatever you you find as wires and you hook the other end to the negative you don't have to put it on the negative you know you put it on the engine block or whatever but let's just see now let's just see what's gonna happen you've got notes that the gate is gonna go to an infinite temperature which is impossible, which is even more than what the gauge is supposed to indicate. So that's what's dear, which is impossible, and no matter what temperature the engine is gonna run. So when you see that, it means that the cluster, the gauge is good, and the wiring is good. All you have to change is the sensor. If you, if you do the same thing, and you don't have anything happening here on the dashboard you better check your wiring first and then you can just back the, the cluster. I hope this video was uh, helpful